You know, those of you that have followed us here at uh, CSN for a long time know I've, I've been doing this a very long time, almost 25 years now right here uh, at CSN. And in those 25 years, it's really been a fascinating kind of change of what's changed in the hobby. The things that we used to sell a lot 25 years ago, we don't really sell very much or very often these days. And it's not because they're not popular. It's not because people don't want them. It's because they're almost impossible to get. And at the top of that list here today, uh, as opposed to, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, are sets, particularly complete sets, particularly complete sets of coins that they stopped making decades and decades ago. And probably pretty near the top of that list is this particular set. The Eisenhower silver dollar. I mean, for I mean, decades in this country, the Eisenhower silver dollar was ubiquitous. Everywhere that you went, everybody had Eisenhower silver dollars at one point. You know, we went through uh, the whole thing where we had Morgan silver dollars and peace silver dollars. Then we wanted to get silver dollars back in because the United States government wants to use those instead of dollar bills because coins just last so much longer and save money. Uh, and, and so the Eisenhower dollar came out in 1971. They ended it in 1978 when there just wasn't a lot of popular support for use of it as a currency. It was a very important coin from a commemorative standpoint. It was made over the bicentennial. And so they made a lot of different Eisenhower dollars. Hence, that is why this set is so incredible and so fun to collect. So if we take a look at this, and uh, one of the other things about the Eisenhower silver dollar is it was made in so many different formats. So if you look at 1971 here, there were four different Eisenhower silver dollars in 1971. You had the Philadelphia Mint, you had the Denver Mint, you had the silver, 40% means that it's silver, 40% silver S Mint and 40% silver S Mint proof. Same thing as we move down to 1972. Uh, P and D and then S silver, uh, uh, BU and S silver proof, 73. We move on with that. I'm going to go ahead and turn this up right here, 73. Uh, and then we move into 74. Same situation there. But then we get to 19, and that's all the 74s, including the BUs and the proofs. And then I want to get to here. This is where it gets fantastic and interesting and so collectible. Because there's no 1975s, because the bicentennial did not sneak up on us. So we started making bicentennial coinage in 1975, hence the Variety 1. So in 1976, the Variety 1s were actually made in 19 and released in 1975. So in 1976, as you can see there, we have eight different coins for 1976. <clears throat> variety 1 and Variety 2, Philadelphia Mint. Variety 1 and Variety 2 in Denver Mint. And then we have Variety 1 and Variety 2 in regular proof. And then we have, and then we have the 76S silver and the 76S 40% proof. And then we move on. And then you do 1977. Now they're just back to kind of regular coins. We have uh, 1977 PDS and 1978 PD PDS. What I want to focus on, though, is these 40% silver coins that basically started here where they say silver. I'm going to get this, put that right there. And what I want to do is I want to go, this is a, this is a nationally advertised catalog. This is why it's so difficult to, uh, 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 to be able to look at these. So this is the individual pricing. Notice the price of the 73S proof, the silver, $129. All of those silver proofs, because they weren't released in proof sets, they were only released in these brown boxes. And you can see those alone, those alone are almost $300. Then add in the brilliant uncirculated $400, $500 just for the eight silver coins. And that doesn't even count the silver bicentennials, which is another 110. So coin by coin, if you go out there, which is the way most people are left to uh, their own devices buying these is coin on a coin by coin basis uh, uh, with this, you're, you're gonna spend $700, $800, maybe even $900. In that particular catalog, I think it's five, six, seven, fifty, about eight and a quarter. But then you have to buy the album. 
<clears throat> and this album's about 50 bucks. You're looking at probably $900. And goodness knows how much time that's going to take you as well. Because, you know, you have to do this, you know, the postage, the handling. You've got to buy it from 10 different places. Then you've got to find the album, which is extremely difficult uh, to be able to do because of all the supply chain issues from two years ago are still affecting particularly uh, coin supplies that are out there. So to be able to get this entire 32-coin set, oftentimes I see them for sale, 21 coins, uh, 32 coins. At some point, they just give up. And so, you know, you can spend just in shipping and handling eight or ten different places, you can spend 80 or 100 or 150 dollars just on that shipping and handling to try to put one of these sets together. Well, what we have is the entire set, all 36 coins. Every Philadelphia Mint, every Denver Mint, every San Francisco Mint, all the clads, all the silvers, all the bicentennials, all of them in the custom album, absolutely positively complete. You can see that's the clad proof, there's the BU proof, there's the S minute proof. There you have all the Philadelphias, the Denvers, and the fact is, is there are so many of these coins that were never released into circulation. So if you take a look at this, the 71 uh, uh, P&D were released into circulation, next two weren't. 72 P&D released into circulation, these two weren't. 73 P&D released into circulation, these weren't. 74, same thing. Less than half the coins were basically ever released to the general public, except in special, what they call blue packs, or what they're going to be, uh, uh, brown packs. Those were the proof coins. And then with, <coughs> excuse me, the key consideration here is that 73S go down just one more right there. That's the coin, that 73S that you have right there, proof. The 73S proof, uh, 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 that's a bad shot because of the uh, uh, lighting that we're going to have on that. There you go. That's $129, $129.95 for that coin by itself. And then from there, you go to all of the bicentennials. And I'm just taking, just take a quick look. So just to put together, let's say I just did a bicentennial set. If I just do the bicentennial set, I'm looking at 40, 50, 60, 75, 80, uh, $180, $200, $200 plus just for the bicentennials. So I have $200 just for that page right there. Then if you look at all the special silver clads non-bicentennial, that's over $500. So that's $750. I said it was $850. It's probably closer to $900 plus the cost of the album. Coin by coin with the cost of the album, you're going to get pretty close to $900. And that's assuming you can maybe buy them all at the same place. And if not, then you know all of a sudden you're in two places or three places. You're going to three coin shows, five coin shows, ten coin shows. Who knows what you're going to do with the entrance fees and all that, or, or you can make one single solitary phone call. Now, here's the problem. Like I said, this used to be the backbone. This used to be the backbone of what I used to sell. I can't get, I used to be able to get, you know, we were closer to the event. They stopped making these in 1978, including all the proofs and all the silvers. So you have to understand, back then I'd get proof sets, I'd get mint sets, people would put these away. That's just not the case. We basically have to open proof sets and mint sets even to get the, uh, the brilliant uncirculated coins. Then you have to open the special packaging to get all of the silver coins, the eight special silver coins, when there's actually ten silver coins in all. I mean, a, a full... Um, a third of this set are silver Eisenhowers that were never released uh, uh, to the general public in, in terms of circulation or anything else. So it is right here, the completeness of the set, all 32 coins including all of the silver-only issues that coin by coin you can spend upwards of $900 on. And then the fact that we've got them all, they've been individually hand-selected by our trained numismatic staff, placed into these custom albums. The album comes with it. The album comes with it. So when you call to get your entire complete Eisenhower dollar collection, which I've not sold here for years, and I've got like, I wish I said I had 500 of these. I've got dozens of these sets is all that we have. So it is something that is absolutely should be at the top of your collecting list because with one single solitary phone call you can own every Eisenhower dollar that's ever been released for the first time in years. I have got them available. My quantities are extremely limited. Complete your Eisenhower silver dollar collection today by picking up the phone.